Okay, y'all. So, let me close the blinds. Okay, so this is what my beauty room looks like right now, y'all. There is stuff everywhere. I've got to go through all my products and revamp and redo this beauty room. the room now so i want y'all to say goodbye to this beauty room and we're gonna say hello to the new one real soon okay y'all so we went to home depot we got a squeegee because i told y'all we're gonna be getting this garage together so let me show y'all we got this long stick And this the squeegee part, y'all. So we're gonna put that on. Y'all, I gotta call the junk people who come back up junk because I got some stuff in the garage that got to get away from here. But what I wanna tackle right now is these, I don't know if I'm gonna put one or two together. You know what? I'm talking to the tea babes. So I don't know what you wanna call it, but I'm gonna put it right here on this wall while I'm gonna make my picture wall. I think I can put those together right now. I got two of them because I'm gonna put them together and make it like one big one. Let me show y'all this wall. This is the wall, y'all. So this is in my living room. Y'all see how big these walls are and tall. So I feel like instead of one of them, I'm gonna do two of them. And when you guys see what they look like, when I put one together, you would know like, okay, yeah, that's why she got two because this wall is huge. I'm gonna take that, that came out of my room. I'm gonna take that and I think I'm gonna put these shoe racks in the garage because um, when people come over and chill, they will not be over here in my living room. They will be in the garage and shoes are gonna be, you know, take shoes off in the garage and we can chill. So, Let's get the building, y'all. Up and leave. Take a lot of courage just to live out your dreams. Bigger picture, I could see if I just close my eyes. Have the foresight to believe. Time don't move backwards, it speeds me to the future. Fitlessly charging for. Okay, y'all, so I took all the pieces out. These are all the screws and the parts, and they have the letters on them. Um, which one is this one? Okay, so I got all of them laid out. Now, I am going to start with the directions and see what tools do I need. Okay, so... Mm -hmm. It says no power tool needed to assemble this. So I got both of my screwdrivers, the short one and the long one. And then I have a butter knife, just in case. But this looks like it's gonna be pretty easy, y'all. Um, huh? Oh, they home. Cause let me put this together, I'm gonna call you back. All right. Okay. So, it looks pretty easy, y'all. These are the parts. These are the two front doors. I love this about it. That's what made me get it. And then this color wood tone. I just love it. I got all types of wood tones in my house. And it's going to all blend in once I get done. 
So let's see. Step one, I need board one, which is, I think this is board one right here, y'all. Hold on. So that wasn't board one. They all have the numbers on them on the side, y'all. So, let's Let's see where it's, okay, here's board one right here. Right here, y'all see that? Board number one. So let me move this off. These pieces are heavy, y'all. Trying to pick it up with one hand. So we have to flip board one over. So I like instructions like this, y'all, because they are very detailed. It's gonna make putting it together very easy for you. And then see over here on the side, y'all, is the hardware list. So it shows y'all which ones are A's. Like if you don't know which is which, so A's would be this. So I need J, A, and H. So where's the H? H and a J. Okay. So here we go. We got three baggies with all different letters in it. I'm going to place y'all down and you guys can watch me work. I'm good. I'm good. Actually, morning good. Kind of great. Okay, so so far it's not too hard. The only thing that I did was I put the um, side pieces on on the wrong side, so I had to un um, tighten them and switch them around. So now I'm going to attach the pieces to the doors. And those are pretty easy because I've done that before on my nightstand, well, TV stand in my room. So 
place to attach these doors and then I can put together the other cabinet. These are all the parts. I have them out. I guess these are the handles to open up the door and they're like a bronzy color. And that goes good. I didn't know they were this color. And then these are the, the pieces that's gonna open the door and close it. It looks like it might have like a soft close with how they look because these are the ones that I put on my TV stand in my master bedroom. So got the screws and these little brown thingies right there. So let's get the building. Okay, y'all, so it is halfway done. Now I have to put the shelves in. But y'all, put y'all down. Okay, we are inside the cabinet. All I have to do now is put in my little hooks for the shelving, and then the cabinet is gonna be done. I don't know if it's supposed to have like this gap in the middle. It's not aggravating me. I feel like they could be like closed in a little bit more, but I guess it is what it is. I love, love, love this detailing on it. It's like a wood bamboo type of 
vibe going on. And I love these handles right here. I like the color of them. And then this is the inside. It has a lot of storage space in here, y'all. So I'm going to use this, you know, just to store stuff that I can't put around the house. Or no, just put like little stuff in here. I don't know, y'all, but it's good storage space. So I'm going to put the other one together and hopefully it shouldn't take me that long because I put this one together and I know the do's and the don'ts. So that is that. I will be putting the other one together off camera and then I'm going to come back once I have it set up and show y'all what it looked like. When I'm with you, 